Hey guys, this is Abhishek and in this video, I will show you how you can achieve the linear regression or ordinary least square method in with the help of the stat models package. So if you remember from my previous video, we have been working with the cancer data. So if I go up and just quickly show you, these are the different examples I had covered and if I really go up here you will see that uh, from the stat models package first of all we imported the stat models dot api as sm and then from stat models dot data sets we imported the cancer data set and from the cancer data set we use the load method to load the data and then we basically use the exoc and endoc is to get the x and y values as well as you have something called data method like uh, cancer data dot data to basically see its entire population. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, come down here in the end and use the cancer data. So first of all, x x x variable that means all the independent variable, and I will use cancer data dot. And to get all the x variables, the quick method is exog. So it has two method and dog and exoc so you can just get uh, an idea that if x is present here then it's basically for the x values and uh, another method is to basically y values and dog so that's that's how i remember it and uh, uh, keep it in my mind when to use exoc and when to use and dog so that's one and then what I need is uh, uh, fit the model. So what I'm gonna do is write the model is equals to sm dot ols. So it's in caps. Remember that. And you need to write y comma x uh, in the method how the expression has been written. So if I go ahead and execute this, yeah, just took a couple of seconds. Now I want fit. So what I can write is model dot fit and here I have fit model. Now, if I let's say I want to access some parameters like uh, AIC, ACA information criteria, or BIC or BSC, all of these different variables that are present here, like the p values, for example, you know, I can get that. That's one way of uh, how you can get the values. But that's not uh, why I have shown you here. The main reason to show you here to show you this particular method is is to get the nice formatted summary if you have ever used the SAS system which is statistical analysis system it it always gives us a good formatted summary which is really helpful to document the output and i'll just show you how you can get it over here with the help of just one simple method so fit dot summary yeah i need to surround it by uh, these method the parenthesis if i execute that here i have a quick nice formatted summary dependent variable what is the r square 96 percent what is the adjusted r square what is the f statistics what is the method that we have used number of observations residuals aic and bic values uh, and then down here we have just one variable which is a population then what is the coefficient what is the standard error what is the p value and down here you have a lot of statistics like durban watson statistics kurtosis and probability skewness all of those different formatted output so that's basically uh, the the best part about uh, about the uh, stack models to get this formatted summary and uh, get more you know meaningful information if you want to document it so that's quickly I wanted to show you. In the next video, I will just show you the the way by which you can use the SK learned scikit learn data sets here in the SM, the stat models package, and to, to do the prediction. 